Hey, shalom, my kings of Kama, Kapashim, Jim, it's London giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Chachadash. When they get double honors unto the elders, the apostles of the GMS, and shalom, I'm out there to the whole full expression of truth and all sincerity. Back again with another video. Now, I just wanted to bring out something I was reading in uh, Malachi chapter 1 here, verse 6, okay, concerning the name, right? Because we know, you know, these other camps, they don't really teach in the name of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, they don't promote that name, they don't exalt that name. Okay, they want to hide hide behind different names. Okay, names of the world, right? Christ and Jesus and you know a whole bunch of other type type of titles. Okay, but we know the Lord has a name and his son has a name. Okay, and since we've been given those, okay, we ought to be using them. Right, because otherwise we're not really exalting the Heavenly Father and His Son. Alright, and so I just wanted to bring this up through Malachi chapter, chapter 1 verse 6 here. And it reads, it says, A son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. If then I be a father, okay, this is the Most High speaking, right? Or, you know, so basically saying this, right? It says, if then I be a father, where is my honour? Now, the relationship between... Uh, a servant and a master and, and a son and a father is you know the son is to show the father respect okay the servant shows his master respect okay there's proper ways to address them all right so the lord said where's my honor how have you honored me you know and when we when we know the names of the Heavenly Father, right? Because some of these, you know, these camps know what the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son is. When you're not addressing the Most High Yahweh properly, yes, you're not doing him any any honor. You're not doing what He asked you to do, which was to exalt His name. All right. Yeah, the Lord has many titles. Yahweh has many titles. Okay, but no one knows who they really are. You got cams going out there. Teaching about Christ and Jesus and stuff, man. But doesn't that's that's a worldly concept? Can you 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 know when people talk about them, people think about this uh, this this le this leper pansy man that you know supposedly loves everybody. Okay, that's that's the you know the idol behind those names because that's what, exactly what this uh, you know this Jesus Christ is and the like. They're nothing but idols that are. That have been conjured up. Okay, that doesn't represent the son, doesn't represent the father. Alright? That's why when we teach about Yahweh Shai, we teach the truth about Yahweh Shai. We teach the truth about Yahweh. What it is that they are, what it is that they're doing, what they're about, you know. Many ways is um, and if I be a master, where is my fear? I majority of people don't fear the most high. Right? How can you fear? How how could you call yourself from fearing someone you don't even care to get the name right? You don't you're not even concerned about their name, because these people are not concerned. They don't you know, they just oh, you know that's what I was raised up, uh, you know, believing. So that's what I'm gonna call it, even though it's blatantly wrong. We know there was no letter J's more than five hundred years ago, so we know it couldn't possibly be Jesus. Things like this, like blatant errors in in you know. Their belief, right? And yet they don't care. They'll they, they'll roll over anyway because apparently God doesn't care. Apparently God, you know, doesn't mind you just calling whatever you want to call him. I Y C said that away back. You can call him whatever you want to call him. You all play yogurt, right? Or whatever he bloody said. All of that is a complete disrespect to the heavenly Father and the Son. That you can't even be bothered to get their names right. Now. In this in this example that the Lord's bringing forth now, you wouldn't you wouldn't be doing that, okay? Under under, you know, if you are serving with your master, you wouldn't be getting it wrong, because you'd be getting whooped. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The son ain't gonna just call his father anything. You're gonna get whooped. You will address <laughs> you will address us properly. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna address them properly, right? For for honor, for respect, right? And for fear. And it's just evident that these, these people, our people, you know, after even, but the our people, 
They don't have no fear. They don't got no respect. And they're not honoring the father at all in anything that they're doing. You know, I'm just getting on in the name right now, but you know, this is what it goes into in a second. But you know, in anything that they do, they don't honor or respect the heavenly father at all. And the Lord will have his have his respect. Everybody's gonna know his name. Right? And the men of the Lord are gonna be part of the reason why they know that name. Because everything is gonna happen according to the word that we've been bringing forth, okay, which is the Heavenly Father's word, Yahweh, and his word, right, that's been brought forth, that's manifested in this world, right? So when it comes to pass, everyone's gonna know that it was our power, Yahweh, that did all these things. Not Christ, not God, not you know, all these different titles or whatever. Yahweh did that. Right? Because all these other religions, they got their, they, you know, they, they call them gods, right? So just saying God is a broad term for something that, you know, is supposed to be divine or, or, or whatever. Right? But no, our God has a name. Okay? He ain't just a Lord. Yes, he is a Lord, but he ain't just a Lord. It's a broad term that these people, that you know, that the world uses out here. It doesn't denote who it is. Because anybody can claim if the Lord did it, they can cover up and say, oh yeah, my Lord Muhammad did it. Or... Whatever bullshit, Allah, whatever, you know, Buddha, whoever did it, they can just say, Leah, Lord, my Lord did that. Yeah, who's your Lord? That's what I want to know. Who's your Lord? Who's your God? What God did this? You know, because ain't none of these so called gods, these idols, are prophesied the end and what's going on right now. Everything that's happening is happening according to this word in, in, in the Bible, man. Okay, Yahweh's word. All right. So that's why it's important. But anyway, continuing on, right? So if I be your master, where is my fear? Say if the Lord of hosts unto you, O priest that despise my name. Okay, they despise the name of the Lord. They bring dishonor to it. Right? Says, and ye say, wherein have we despised thy name? Like, like these other cats that would say the same thing. Oh, you know. They would say, oh, you can call him what you want. You know, yeah, Yahweh could be one of them. You could say that, or Yahweh Shai, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the one time they were telling, you know, IYC, definitely these guys, right? We're saying that um, it was wicked, man. <laughs> like, what the hell is wrong with you guys, man? What's wrong with Nate? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These guys, man, they're, they're not to be trusted, man. They, these are not men of the Lord. You know? But they, they, they despise the name. Nate, Nate threw that name under the bus a long time ago, man. And, and, and you know, him and his congregation don't respect that name. That's why it's Israel united in Christ. It ain't Israel united in Yahweh Shai or, or Yahweh. It's not that. That's not what they're pushing. Okay, they're pushing Christ, which is a, you know, a worldly uh, deity or idol in this world. All right. That's the name of an idol in this world. All right. Even though the Lord is the anointed one. Yeah. Yahusha has that title, but in this world, everyone knows Jesus Christ, and we know that's what it what it pertains to, which is an idol. All right. It says, "Um, ye offer polluted bread on, upon my altar, and ye say, wherein have ye have we polluted thee, in that ye say the table of the Lord is contemptible? If ye offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if ye offer the lame and sick." Is it not evil? Offer it now unto thy governor. Will he be pleased with thee? Or accept thy person? Say the Lord of hosts. And this is why we keep saying, right? You have to get things right. The Lord is not happy when you're doing such, you know, half ass shit. If your doctrine ain't tight, the Lord ain't pleased, man. If you ain't got the name, the Lord ain't pleased. You can't just do anything and please the Lord, man. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> if you ain't got faith, you can't please the Lord. Like the scriptures say, man. You have to be, get things down properly, right? You have to know all the all these all these all these camps that are bringing up bookie doctrines concerning the MLTB and that the Lord is not pleased with that, right? You have to get it a hundred percent. You have to have a hundred percent truth, man. You can't serve the Lord how you want to serve him or believe, you know, believe on how you want to believe. You've got to believe what the scripture have said. Only then can rivers of living water flow. You know, and, and, and it, I mean, the name is one of these key key ingredients, one of these key things that every Israelite should know. They should know it, man. 
because their life depends on it, literally. You know, it depends. <laughs> it depends on that, man. Right, but if you're gonna play around the name like it does it, like it's not important, like it, like it's not a, a, an important factor, man, you're lost. Okay, you do nothing but despise them. You do nothing but dishonor the heavenly Father and His Son, right? Because you can't just please the Most High, any you know, any any way, willy nilly, man, doing whatever you want to do. Okay, you gotta do it right. You gotta get it right. You know, or at least to the best of your ability, man. Because uh, the, the name of the Lord is a simple thing. Well, let me not say that because it's, it's all given to the elect, right? But you other camps know it. You've heard us say it plenty of times, man. And you can go do reading and, and stuff to know it ain't these other things that are out there in the world. Right now, you know, we can argue on the spiritual aspect of it about how the pronunciation of the Hebrew is. But we know if we're going to call upon the Lord, we're going to call upon him in Hebrew. We know this. All right, so let's not play around, you know, all this all this Greek shit, you know, and all these titles. Okay, make it your make it your uh, your mission, man. Okay, to get it right, it's important. Because anything else is just a disrespect, man. You're not even trying. You know, you don't have any fear in the Lord in you, man, to get it right. That's a complete lack of respect, man. Right. It says, who is there among you, verse 10, says, who is there among you that would shut the doors for naught? Neither do you kindle fire on my altar for naught. I have no pleasure in you, saith the Lord. The Lord ain't with these other cats, man, that can't even do things simple as that. Call upon the Lord with his, with his name, you know. Right, it says, I, I have no pleasure in you, saith the Lord of hosts. Neither will I accept your offering at your hand. Okay, you're not going to be accepted by the Lord. All right, for, for from the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. The name, the Lord is, is, is I was going to say trying, but no, he, he, he will be magnifying his name. Okay, he is magnifying his name, right? But you're not doing anything to help that, which is what you're supposed to be doing. Ain't nobody know who you're talking about. Who's this God? Who's this Lord? Who's this Christ? Titles. No one knows who he is. Or well, you don't teach who it is. Okay, but here, here at GMS, GMS, that's what we do. Okay, we promote the names of the Heavenly Father and, and His Son. So the, so the whole world can know. So the Lord can get respect on His name. How I can get respect on His name? To be glorified, to be exalted. You know? This is... Um, the same, sorry, my name shall be great among the Gentiles and in every place incense shall be offered unto my name. My name, my name, my name, right? My name is, right? And a pure offering for my name shall be great among the heathen, saith the Lord of hosts. Right? But it says, verse 12, but ye have profaned it. Okay, you've, you've done abominable works, man. Like I said, you're casting down the name of the Lord and, and all sorts. Right? But ye have profaned it. In that ye say the table of the Lord is polluted and the fruit thereof, even his meat, is contemptible. <laughs> right? And that's basically what, what I wanted to get from Malachi here. <laughs> right? So let me get this from Jeremiah 23, verse 27. This is, um, which think. Mm -mm, let me write up a bit. Um, verse 25 right it says uh, I have heard the prophet said sorry I have heard what the prophet said that prophesy lies in my name okay false prophets right saying I have dreamed I have dreamed right and we've had many people out there well, you know this is a famous quote from Martin Lucifer King right he, he said I have a dream but um, there's a lot you know many people come amongst our people claiming you know to lead the people into into so-called greener pastures, you know, forward and, and all that kind of and all that kind of stuff, right? That, but all of that ended in nothing because it wasn't supported by the Lord. The Lord wasn't with that man, right? It says uh, in verse twenty-six, "How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name." Okay, we're meant to be reminding our people 
of the names of our powers. What are our power? Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? We're meant to be reminding the people, but you're, you know, pasting up, pasting over that. You're covering that up like it's not a big deal. You know, like these people don't need to know that. And then how can you call upon the Lord for salvation, man? How can you repent? How can you pray? Like, like I say, if you're using these titles, Lord and God, like they said, there's idols out here, man. Who you don't know who's gonna pick up the call. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like you're looking for a, through a directory, man. And all you got is these bare laws, Lord this, Lord that, God this, God that. Like, man, that's a, that's a nightmare. That's a mess. Right? We want a direct line. We want to, you know, even though we've not got a straight direct line to the heavenly Father, we've got Yahweh Shai, who's our mediator, man, to bring it to the heavenly Father, man. So you're gonna pray. You're gonna pray in the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That is what we do. That's how we pray, right? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the line, right? The direct line, right? Because I say all this God and Lord stuff, man. Satan might be on the other end of that phone, man, talking to you. You know, make, making making shit happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? So we're here being specific, right? We're not here. We're not here to cover up the names of the Lord. We're here to promote those names. All right. So which thing to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, and as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. And that's what we mean. We just, Baal, uh, if I remember correctly, it means Lord. You know, and, and we're just, that's what our people are doing, man. That's what our people have been led to believe, that they can just call upon God or Lord, you know, all this type of stuff. But they, they've, been, they've been given unto idols, man, essentially. That's what's happened. And the, and the, and these people are still rolling, even though these are supposed to, some of these are Israelites, right? They're still rolling with those names, okay? And not well, these titles, should I say? And uh, and not, you know, coming in the name of of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. So that's what they're doing. They're making that people to ignore, forget. To be not concerned about the name, the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son. In Zechariah chapter 14 verse 9 It says, And the Lord shall be king over all the earth In that day shall there be one Lord One Lord Like I said, there's a whole directory Full of lords from these all these different heathens You know That they, that they worship Right, they're all lords, they're all gods Right But there shall be one Lord Okay, there ain't going to be these idols, man. These 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 fakes, right? They ain't going to exist no more. People are not going to believe in them, man, because the Lord is going to make, make a statement in the world, man. And there ain't no idol that's going to come and stop the Lord, Yahweh, and Yahweh Shai when it happens. Okay, and these idols are going to be destroyed. And men's belief of these idols are going to be destroyed. All right? It says, and that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. Okay, he is one Lord, he has one name. Okay, there's not a multitude of names, a hundred and whatever that that um uh a book, you know, whatever a hundred and one names of God or whatever the fuck it is. You know, he hasn't got a hundred and one names. He might have all those titles, but he got one name. Okay, one personal name, like me and you have got a name. Yeah, I might I might be supervisor, manager, that's a title, you know what I mean? You know, in my job, whatever, I might be this, I might be that, but I have a name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man might call me the boss, but I also have a name. You know what I mean? Boss is just a title, right? Every man got a name, right? And no man this is you know, well, no man should disrespect your name, right? Right? As men know, see it happens. Men disrespect each other all the time, but we don't we don't play that game when you're playing with the Most High and His Son. Okay, we don't take those things lightly, man. We're meant to have the fear of the Heavenly Father, you know. I said there's some guys in the street you wouldn't disrespect their names, man. You wouldn't dis disrespect them. Man, they're too scared. So why do you think it's, it's suitable to do it with the Heavenly Father and His Son? Well, just because they're not standing next to you or, or, or in your face. A lot of men do that, right? They get brave when they're not when people are not around, innit? You know, they feel like they can say or do whatever they want when someone ain't around. But when someone's in their face, they don't want to say shit. 
Now we're meant to have the fear of the Lord at all times, man. Okay, Th these are not things that we play around with, man, because the Lord can smite us out of this earth in an instant, in a horrible, vicious way. Okay, so we don't play around with that. Okay, you show the Lord his respect at all times. You know? So I'm going to read that again. So the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day there should be one Lord and his name one. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 9 says, For then will I turn to the people of pure language. All right, through the spirit, the, the ancient Hebrew has been revived. Right, and given to certain men and that believe in it, right? Because it's not a language that is known in the world. No one knows what the ancient Hebrew uh, sounded like. We got writings and, and 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 things like that, but no one knew on this earth how it's spoken. Right? This is through the Spirit. This was given back to us. That's why I said, for then will I turn to the people of pure language. The Lord was going to give it back to us. Okay, it didn't come from men. Okay, it came into the world through the Spirit. You know, and broken down to us. Right? This world doesn't know what that is. It didn't come from the world. Right? These men have got their Yiddish and whatever. They made up Hebrew that they, you know, their vows, their concerts they got from, from European influences and all this kind of all this kind of stuff. But they don't know what the ancient Hebrew sounded like either. None of, none of these people do. None of these scholars do. So it was a language that didn't exist on the earth at all. You know, and you could say, oh, that's, but how do you know that's what it is? Well, hey, how did language come about in the first place? Through the spirit, right? Through, through it being put in the minds of men to utter different sounds, right? But us being men of faith, that's what you believe, man. It's not a, we know it's, not, it's, not, it's a language that don't exist on the earth. It only exists with us. Okay, it's niche, it's, you know, exclusive. Right? It ain't going to be given to, to, to heathens. Right? So the Lord was going to bring back to us a pure language, right? The Lashawan Kodash, the Hebrew. So for them will I turn to the people of pure language that they may call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one concern. That's the whole point. We were given our language back so we can call upon the Lord, right? Because we know the Lord has Hebrew names. You know, Yahweh has a, is, is a Hebrew name and Yahweh is a Hebrew name. The Mosai has a Hebrew name. The Son has a Hebrew name. They're Hebrews. You know, Lashawan Kodash, the Holy Tongue. Right? And so, that's what's been given to us in this time. We're not here dealing with Greek. The Lord wasn't Greek. His name wasn't Jesus. You know, we're not, that's not who we are. We don't, we don't, we don't do Greek. That's not, we're, not, we're, not, we're not Greeks. You know what I'm saying? Okay? Our people were Hebrews. Right? So the names that were given to us, that were given to Moses, was, was a Hebrew name. All right, but that true understanding or knowledge of how it's spoken, that had to be given back through the Spirit. That's the only way. It's the only way it could have manifested itself, right? Ain't no one living from the ancient times to tell us that's where it was. There's no evidence or proof of how, it, how things sound, man. Strictly based on the faith, man. All right. Is Acts chapter 4, verse 12 says, Neither is this. Let me see. What's up in verse 10? says, Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Yahweh Shai Mahashayak of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the cornerstone. So neither is there salvation in any other, right? Yahweh Shai is the gateway to salvation. Mosai Yahweh set him up to be the gateway to salvation. All right. Neither is there, any, there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Right? There, there ain't nobody else out there that can do this job. <laughs> you know, Yahweh Shai has been given that job. Right? And we we gotta believe upon Yahweh Why Yahweh Shai. Right, that is their names. Right? It doesn't have a multitude of names. Um, where is it? 
Yeah. Proverbs 13 verse 4 says, Who have descended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fists? Who have bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou can tell? Okay, speaking on the heavenly father and his son. <laughs> Pardon me, right? It's, it's not unimportant. It's very important, man. And you have to show respect. Okay, there's too many people out here that just don't care. Don't care. Don't care to show the respect or the fear. Okay, they're lazy. And, it's, and only don't believe. You know? But these are questions that need answering. What is what, what are their names? What is his name? What is his son's name? If you if you know it, if you can say it. You know, the first go to is Jesus and, and God. And then when you might press them a little bit further, they might say, "Oh, it's uh, Yeshua. Oh, it's yeah, it's Jehovah or Yahweh or something." But it's all they're all wrong. So, like I said, the J stuff, man, is it, it, it didn't exist five, you know five hundred years ago. Didn't exist, and this Yahweh business and Yeshua business—that's all that Yiddish shit from these imposters. Okay, that's not how his name is spoken. All right, so you know that understanding, of the, that knowledge of how the what the names are spoken is only given to to them in the Lord, and the, and you know maybe those that want to kind of copy in the footsteps, man, but. <laughs> Aside from that, it was given to us to, to know that and to believe in that. All right. Uh, this is the last one. We're going to close up on this, right? Is Isaiah 12. I just want to read from the top. All right. It says, And in that day, thou shalt say, O Lord, O Yahweh, I will praise thee. Because that's what you're going to see there. You you know, you, you go into um, into the Hebrew here. Lord, you're going to see the word Yahweh. Alright. So I will praise thee, though thou was angry with me. Thine anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Yahweh is my strength. And my song is also, he also, he also is become my salvation. Therefore, with joy shall he shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation, and in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord Yahweh, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people, make mention that his name is exalted. Okay, and that, that's part of what we're supposed to be doing, exalting his name. All right, sing unto the Lord Yahweh, with, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. Right? And I said the Most High, you know, He dwells with us, man. Yahweh Shai is for His people. Come and deliver His people for salvation. Right? And they're going to, what, begin with the, they're the ones that are going to be given that name to call upon the Lord and to exalt His name and to and to pray and to repent. You know? I mean, they're the names that we fear. You know? And like I said, you know, the Most High and his son, they're like apex, man. You, like, they're not people that, of all people, of all, any type of people in the world, right, they're, they're the top two you don't want to disrespect. They're the two highest beings in, in existence, man. So what, what the hell is wrong with people, man? What, what gives them the right to be so disrespectful? Oh, sorry, God don't mind. Who the fuck told you that? It's not what I read at the beginning in in um, was it Proverbs? The Malachi, sorry, one and six. That's not what I was reading. The Lord does care about things, man. He wants things done properly. You know. So who are you to decide? Or what? You know? Oh, God don't don't mind about this and mind about that. No, because you don't give a shit. That's the only reason why you're saying that you don't know. You don't know these scriptures that you know. You don't know how the Most High feels about it. The Most High getting pissed off all the damn time, man. With your insolence. You know? And then now it's going to be part of the reason why you get destroyed, man. Because you're just full of shit. People are full of shit out here, man. You know? They're not serving the Lord at all. But anyway. 
Lord willing, this was edifying, and um, I'll catch you, brothers. This is on the next video, man. So, until next time, I say shalom.